Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Positive Flipper Show. It's always great to be here with you on these Positives episodes, folks. And so this is going to be the last episode here in this Adversity Lesson series. It has been quite a journey. It has been quite a, quite a journey. Started this series after the, the pandemic. It really started to take hold. Just wanted to take a moment each week to encourage you to, to keep on keeping on in despite of the adversity and the tragedy and hardship and struggle that this pandemic has caused um, in all of our lives. And so challenged you each and every week to we, we, need, we need to allow this epidemic to develop our character like any type of adversity to develop our character enable us to become better individuals than we were a week or two even before the pandemic in terms of how we've learned how we've grown in terms of being you know less selfish more considerate considerate of others some people are making the decision to start taking their health more seriously and making dietary and, and, and exercise type of adjustments to their lives so many 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 people have, have really taken stock you know evaluated their lives professionally, is this what I want to be doing? Is this the career that I want? Or am I going to work every day dreading going in? And it's been such a challenge. And this coronavirus pandemic is just causing people to take a you know, step back and think, you know, what in the world am I doing with my life? I am miserable. I am miserable. And as I pointed out before, the ability to face truth, and that's the, that's the thing about adversity. If you think about one of the, one of the most positive aspects of adversity is It'll stop you dead in your tracks and, and cause you to face truth about your life, about yourself, about your career, about your, your relationships. Oh, it's so well like nothing else. And you'll ask yourself, am I happy? Or you know what, I really am miserable. Or you know, this isn't working. Why am I still here? You know, whatever. Um, and so as, as we think about, as I think about wrapping up this series, and this has been a series of adversity lessons that we're all tested. <laughs> That's the thing about life, folks. We None of us gets a free pass when it comes to, to, to adversity. We're all going to face it. We're all going to face it. And so we just have to ask ourselves, you know, ultimately, when we think about how this coronavirus pandemic has or has not shaped an individual, a person, my life, your life, whatever, we must know that in the midst of these lessons, the, the, the final grade that we get to utilize a, a school analogy or education analogy, the final grade is up to us. The final grade is up to us. If we emerge as A students, better individuals, more character, more humility, more compassion and understanding, that's, that's going to be a result of us really learning the lessons, heeding the lessons, allowing the lessons to change us, to grow us, to mature us, as opposed to getting a failing grade. And that is, is, is one, you know, coming out of this bitter, you know, upset, negative, Debbie Downer, negative Ned, whatever the case may be, and a quick note. I am not talking about individuals who have lost one or multiple friends, family members due to the COVID situation that they had. I'm not talking about situations of death, loss, and bereavement. I mean, those are natural human grieving emotions. But I'm talking about everything else. You know, everything else. You know, a person that has become bitter because they, he or she had a plan for his or her life and, 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 and the coronavirus really threw a monkey wrench in that. And because that individual is certainly not you know inflexible and very rigid then all of a sudden when the plans go sideways or the plans go south or a u-turn is required then that individual has a very tough time because they're so inflexible and so rigid um, and so they need to be in control and it has to be this way and i have no room for any changes or, or de deviation from my plan folks like that with all due respect are having a it is a nightmare experience for people like that because it is one thing the coronavirus has shown much of life is, is, is you can't control it. <laughs> Something like this is a great reminder that, that things happen, natural disasters, you know, company downsides, this person gets sick. You know, so many things happen in life that will throw you off your, 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 your uh, challenge your plan or throw you off your game, whatever the case may be. And so we need to be open, we need to be flexible, we need to be willing to learn and grow and allow, allow these experiences 
not to cause these lessons, these adversity lessons that we're all experiencing, not to cause us to get a failing grade of this, our coronavirus response, but we want to get an A because this experience is, is making us better, more humble, willing to help others, be considerate of others, having a more empathetic view of others and suffering and hardship and struggle and experience. I mean, there's people in this country and in the world where have experienced no real serious adversity in life, and this is their first this is their first chance, you know, as adults, because life has been easy, life has been, you know, a person may be rich, or a person may have this, or the connections, where the typical, you know, issues of adversity and it's and then roadblocks of adversity and challenge and struggle are not felt by all. To the, to the same extent. But when you're throwing in an epidemic like this that is impacting people of all types, of all income levels, socioeconomic backgrounds, countries around the world, um, this is a, and that's why I often say adversity, is, is, is comes to all of us. This is just coming to us on a grand scale, but it comes to all of us. So we always want to pass these, we always want to pass these tests. We want to learn the lessons, we want to pass the tests. Because why? If we don't, it's often there's an old saying, I don't know who the original person that said it was, but I've heard it quoted a number of times and read it quoted in books, is that if you don't pass the test the first time, you keep passing it. You keep taking that test till you pass it. So it's better for us to learn these lessons, to, to be empathetic, to learn, to grow, to be more humble, to be less selfish. Because otherwise, circumstances, you know, you, you have a trouble with problems with selfishness or you're impatient. These lessons are going to keep coming to you <laughs> until you learn the lesson. Until you learn the lesson, folks. I want us to all be superstar, rock star, A students, and I know we're all capable of doing that, but we have to make a decision that that's what we want to do, that's where we want to be, that's the result that we want to get from our, um, you know, these lessons and adversity in life. So, folks, that is all I have for you. It has been a great series. Continue to keep on keeping on. Keep your head up. Stay positive. We will make it through this, because guess what? We've already made it this far. Only we made it through several weeks of this pandemic, and we're still here. We're still here, we're still, we're, we're still keeping on, keeping on. So that's what we have to continue to do, and we'll be stronger. This experience is enabling us to be stronger for the next adversity hurdle that we face in the future, because we that's one thing for certain folks. We will face more adversity hurdles. So that's it. I can't wait until the next series, folks. Until then, continue to enjoy your summer and live it polite to the best of your ability. And remember, I am positively passionate about your happiness and success. Make it a great